Hey everyone, you may know me as Pixelbeard on Mixer, and today I will show you how to connect an Xbox to a PC for a proper stream with game chat working. To get started, I will show you the GoXLR, every input, where they connect and what they do. I won't go over mic setup and the entire GoXLR experience. There's plenty of good video out there. I will focus 100% on the Xbox experience of things. Okay, all right, so let's switch scene. Okay, so that's my GoXLR right there on my desk. It's live. This is uh, what I'm recording with. As you can see, this is moving. Probably really out of sync because I'm using a C920 and I haven't set up any delays. The way I use mine left is my microphone set to metering. That's why you see the sign going up. Then I got my voice chat, which is Discord N xbox party chat on my pc this makes it so if your uh, teammates are a bit too loud you can lower them individually from the game then i have a music slider depending on which scene i'm on uh, it will either control the uh, music on my pc on my streaming pc using a pretzel rock at the moment or the music on my mac using the line in now they just updated the uh, go xlr app to support stream deck so now I literally have a button to switch from uh, streaming music from my PC to streaming music from my laptop. And this is very handy. Now the slider to the right is my console. This controls the, uh, the game audio, so the music, the sound effect and everything from the Xbox. The way this is enabled on the Go XLR is you have multiple outputs and inputs, okay? So output will be what is leaving the Go XLR and input is what is coming in the Go XLR, okay? So on the input, we have the microphone because we are bringing the microphone inside the Go XLR the chat this is a virtual input it's a fake sound card that gets created into windows and you can assign certain software to it uh, basically you want to assign chat to it and this will become the chat input music is the same thing it's another virtual card game is the same thing game is not the console it's it's a separate input made for specific games that allow you to set the game sounds uh, differently than main system sound. Very useful. Console. This is a physical input. And I'll show you in a second. Line-in is the same. It's a physical input. System is virtual through USB. And sample is both the sample pad and a virtual input from Windows. Now the output is what comes out of the Go XLR. So the GoXLR has a headphone port. So this is an output physical onto the GoXLR. The broadcast stream mix is a virtual output. So this will show up like a microphone in Windows. And this is the combined, uh, combined audio from all your input into one. This is what you will send to OBS. Then we have a line out. This is a physical output. You can connect that to uh, speakers. And in our case, we will be connecting that to the Xbox controller. More on that later. And we have the chat mic. This is a virtual output. Basically, it's so you can output your microphone separately from the broadcast mix. So you can either put your microphone inside the broadcast mix or you can send it separately. This is what you will use in Discord and Party Chat because obviously you don't want to send your broadcast, your broadcast stream mix into Discord so that your teammate hear all your games and music and, and whatnot. At the very bottom, we have the sampler. So this is the um, this is the output to the sampler. So whatever is checked in here will get recorded when you use one of the uh, one of the sound banks. On the mixer okay uh, i'll try to make this a bit more visual this is the xlr input for your microphone this is the line in you can connect an ipod a computer a cell phone any sort of device that use 3.5 millimeter jack this is all 3.5 millimeter except for the fiber usb and xlr now 
we have a mic input this is so uh, you can connect a 3.5 millimeter mic don't use that port even if you have a 3.5 millimeters you want to find an adapter to bring it in here because this will use the preamp and will make your sound a little bit better we got the headphone output so this is a physical output we got the line out this is another physical output here we got the USB cable, this will go to your PC. Here we have a fiber, and this will go to the back of your Xbox. So Xbox One, they have a uh, fiber out. And so basically this is how you get your console sound separated from everything else. And the power cable. You can rewatch this uh, over and over again, so you, you identify uh, exactly what goes where. Now we'll go into the finicky part of connecting the controller to your go xlr okay the way i do this is i go from my line out that we identified in the back so one more time the line out is the uh this cable i have a black cable connected into it right next to the headphone jack now my line out goes to this the reason is the line out is made to go to a uh, monitoring speaker. So it's a full out output. There's no way to control the volume out of this output. And it's very, 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 very hot in my case. So what happened is if you connect directly this to the next piece of kit, I'll show you, uh, it's going to clip your sound and you're going to sound terrible inside a game chat. So what I did is I got this. I'll put a link in the description, but any one of those will work and what i do is i, I set it to about 30 percent this one is a cheap chinese knockoff one so basically from here to there it does nothing uh so you just need to tweak it and uh, uh, ask your friend how you sound or send them a voice message and record the playback to see how this will sound now this cable would get connected to one uh We'll get connected to one of those. This is a CTIA TRRS cable. This is a different standard than iPhone. So you need to be very careful that you pick up a CTIA, which will be compatible with the Xbox controller. Now the CTIA uh, compatible TRS will split into two different uh, cable. And we will connect the line out to the microphone port so the line out will now act as a microphone into our controller you have your controller connect the ctia compatible cable they're really cheap they're like um how much i pay 12.99 canadian and then you connect this to your volume control box and you connect the volume control box into the go xlr side note this control box was wired wrong where whenever it was made so i actually were i have to wire the controller into the in and the go xlr into the out which makes no sense and it took me a very long time to figure that out okay now last step will be to configure or go xlr properly the most important thing you want to do you can set up your slider however you want and this this won't affect your stream much what will affect the stream is the routing okay in my case i have the microphone isolated to my headphone with just my system sound so the only thing i hear in my headphone is microphone and system the reason i'm doing this is because i'm monitoring all the audio through obs so once the audio goes into obs i monitor it and then so that goes to my system sound and then the goxr sends it to my headphone i do this because i am using a technical audio docking you can check um, epos vox video on youtube it's pretty insightful and it's just a way so that my microphone sound is always louder than everything else and when i don't speak the rest of the audio goes back up I will eventually make an OBS tutorial, stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you do not understand why I'm making those decisions, just check all of the inputs into your headphones and all of your inputs into the broadcast stream mix, except for system, and use the broadcast stream mix either as your main input device in preference, or if you've turned all those off already, 
uh, add it as a separate audio input capture into all of your scene. Next is my broadcast stream mix. So in there I have Discord and party chat on my PC. I got my music provided by Pretzel Rock at the moment. I got my game. Now I'm using my Xbox, so I don't have any game to put in there. So what I did is I sent my bot. So every chat command, every uh, overlays that make sound, anything that makes sound from my bot and from my overlays goes to game. It is not necessary. You can send your bot uh, to anything else. Uh, I decided to send my bot to game. And it's just so I can record it separately. It is not needed. Then we have our console. Very important to patch your console in. On this scene, I I don't use my line in from my laptop. If I need my laptop, I will check this one and uncheck the music uh, the music one to make sure I don't have two, uh, two sources of music together. You do not want to have your system sound in my particular setup. Uh, I highly suggest against using system sound on your broadcast mix because you'll get notification, crash, USB connecting, disconnecting, all sorts of things that will get sent to broadcast that you don't want your audience to hear. And then I get my samples. So anytime I press one of those, uh, uh, you won't hear it. Anytime you press one of those buttons, this will go to broadcast stream as well. Now my line out, remember this is what is going to my Xbox controller now. So in my line out, I want my microphone and I add my sample so I can do uh, little pranks in game, uh, which is kind of fun. You can also send your music in game. If you want to blast uh, Apocalypse Now, ta -ta 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 -ta. it can be fun. Next, I have my chat microphone. My chat microphone is what is going to Discord and party chat on my PC. I have that set to microphone only because that's the only thing I want them to hear. And uh, by default, I'm sampling both my microphone and chat so that if somebody says something funny, I can quickly sample it, play it back uh, to bug them until the end of eternity. Last thing that I want to touch up on, uh, this is is not audio related but my xbox is connected into a uh, capture card is the hd 60 s now um to save on hardware what i have is an hd 60x to an hdmi splitter uh, it's just a cheap splitter from amazon with two position one and two now one half of that goes to a laptop so that i can bring in my mac into the stream and the other one goes to my xbox now i also have my uh, nintendo switch and the xbox one has a pass through so i just connect my nintendo switch inside of my xbox and then the xbox inside of the splitter now make sure that you turn off all your notification on your xbox so you don't get no xbox notification while you're streaming your switch and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will be reading and answering them as fast as I can. Otherwise, come and join me on Mixer. Uh, I usually stream Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. But right now I'm streaming a lot more because we're not allowed to leave home. How amazing is that? Not. Good luck out there and happy streaming.